Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Float Mirror. We have a leg focus class. We will do the first half of the class standing and then we'll transfer ourselves to the mat. So let's go ahead. So we'll start standing. You can put your mat away for the first half. So come on up, bring your hands on your hips here. Right, I want you to just take one foot off and we'll start the class with some legs or oh, ankle circles. So we're just gonna circle the ankle one direction while we find our balance standing on the other leg. And then let's go ahead and roll and circle over to the other side. Find your balance. If the balance is tricky, you may go ahead and hold onto something, a chair or wall and uh, release that down and let's go with the other side. So we pick up the other foot off and go ahead and circle the ankle one direction. Hold that center so you can find your good balance here. And then circle the other way. The tricky on the side. And then let's place that foot down. Excellent. Okay. Now have your hands on your hips as well. Have your feet in a parallel position. So ideally the heels will be directly underneath the center of your hip joint here. Toes are pointing forward. Lift the left foot, the left heel up. So I want you to really press on the five balls of the feet, emphasizing more between the first and the second ball of the foot. And then rah, and up to the tippy toe, point your foot, and then down to the ball of the foot and heel down. So lift the heel vertically up. Take care that you don't roll your ankle out to the side as you take the toes up and come down. So right parallel positioned and up to the tippy toe. Place down parallel and down. So really just lift the heel vertically up and then onto the toes and onto the ball of the feet and heel down. Use your feet as a whole here. Make sure you really go through the ball of the second and the big toe. And down one more time. You can find a balance, find center here and heel down. Let's go to the other side. So we lift the heel up and we lift the toes and press down and heel down. Heels up onto the ball of the foot and onto the toes and down and heel down. So we got releve and then toes. And again, take care then watching that you don't roll the ankle out as you come up onto the tippy toe and roll out and down. We'll go straight vertically up and vertically down really using the metatarsals of the foot here. And one more, and we'll lift and we'll come down. Excellent. Okay, now stay in parallel still. I want you to place your hands on your thighs. I'm gonna just turn myself to the side here. And now sit down in a slight squat position here and have your back flat in a diagonal position. So let's move on to our cat stretch here. So we breathe down, we're gonna round the spine, we're gonna curl it, drawing that center. Tuck the head down a little bit. And then we extend the back, to that flat back position and take the upper body, the upper back up to extension. And we go flat back and we go round back and to a flat back and extend the middle and the upper back. Again, exhale as we round, press down with your hands against the thigh and then inhale, extend and arch the upper thoracic. Two more. Exhale, we round into a flat and extend the upper back. Last one and round back and flat, extend arch and come back to that flat back here. I want you to take your arms long by the side of your ears and stay low. From here, pull the arms back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place your hands back on your thigh. Go ahead and roll the spine up. 
come up all the way to standing position. Okay, let's go to the footwork here. You can have your hands on your waist line here. We stand tall, lifting up the center. We inhale, we bend the knees. Now I want you to have a vertical alignment of the spine here and exhale, we lift. Inhale, we bend. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Let's do eight of you. Four more, down. Exhale, lift. Down and and down last one now we go down again little pulses so double breath inhale exhale inhale one two exhale one two inhale one two exhale two more sets last set inhale extend all the way up all done. All right, let's take your right heel up here. Now lifting tall, let's do it again. Inhale, we bend. Exhale, we lift. And then we bend. Take care that the pelvis doesn't sway in lot, left and right as you go down. We go vertically down and then we go up. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more down, exhale up. Last one down. And little pulses next. So we go down first and then we exhale. Up, up, inhale, up, up, exhale. Sh, sh, in breath. And sh, sh, and sh, sh. Three more sets. Sh, two more. Sh, sh. Last. Sh, sh. And straighten up. Heel comes down and lift the other heel up. Same thing, we go down. Exhale, Shh. center is nice and switched on here. Shh. And take it that you don't round the spine as you go down and up. I want you to lift the spine tall, Shh. open across the front of the chest. As you lift up and as you go down, three more. Up Shh. and down, two more Shh. and down. Last one, we go down little pulses here. We go up, up in breath. And, and, three more sets. Two, last, and straighten up. Lower the heels. Now, the next one's a little tricky. We're going to lift both heels up. Hold that center tight and keep the heels in the same height the whole time. And we go down. And we extend. And find a balance here. And we extend. If you need to hold onto something next to you, you go ahead and do so. And we go down. Otherwise, balance with me. And three more. Exhale. And two here. Exhale. Last one, exhale, little pulses. We're gonna go down first and then we go up, up, in, breath, and sh, sh. Whoa, lost myself, sh, sh. inhale, and sh, sh. Two more sets, sh, sh. Last, sh, sh. Now straighten up everything up. And heels come down. That was tricky. All right, let's shake your leg a little bit here. We've got calf raises and then we've got prancings. Again, guard that center, rise up to the ball of your feet. Now, keep lifting up as you lower the heel down so you resist gravity. Again, lifting up from here and lower resist. Keep lifting up the pelvic floor and rise up and lower and rise up and lower four more rise up and lower great one to practice on your balance here three and lower and two and lower one more and we stay up lower your right heel down watch the pelvis and up for a prancing we go down and we lift 
guard the two sides of the pelvis. So activate your glute medius here, which is the muscle at the top here, and then lift, and then down. So when you go down, you don't sway the pelvis out. So hold the center tight, and lower, lift, and lower, lift. Resist gravity, and lift, lower, and lift, and three, and lift, down, and lift, and two, and lift, down, and lift, last one, and lift, down, and lift, I lost my balance there, and come on down, shake those legs, excellent work. All right, so it's time for some lunges. I'm gonna turn myself to one side. I want you to step back to that lunge position. So quite a large position here. Take care that the front knee is right above your heel, right above the ankle here. All right, take your arms long, Next to your ears, bring the body tilting diagonally so you're in one straight line from the tip of the head down to the back toes. Now from here, straighten the front leg. Hold the center. Then we bend. We straighten. And we bend. And three, let's just do five here. And we bend. And four. And we bend. Last five. And we bend. Now this time, as you extend the front leg, bring your torso upward, so vertical. And we fold. Again, straighten and upright, two. And we fold. And straighten upright, three. And we fold. Two more, up. And we fold. Last one, we stay up there, hold that center. This time the back leg is going to bend. We bend and straighten. We bend and straighten and bend. Three, hold that center. Make sure you don't tuck your bottom out. Just think about the knee going down and lift from that pelvic floor as you straighten. Two more. And pelvic for straighten. Last one. And straighten. Fall forward back to lunge. Step the back foot forward and come up. Other side. We go. Step back. Really large lunges here. Knee over the ankle. Take your arms next to your ears and lean your body forward. We straighten the front. We bend. We straighten. And bend. Lift from the center. That's a three here. And bend. And four. And bend. And five. And bend. Now this time, bring your body vertical as you straighten the front leg. And we fall forward. And straighten upright. And we fall forward. And three here. And we fall forward. And four. And one more. And five. We hold that upright position. The back leg, we go down. And left. Back leg down. And lift. Really contract the quadriceps and the hamstring, the front leg here. And left. And two more. And left. And the last one, we'll lift, we fall forward, back to the lunge, step the back foot forward, and up. Excellent. Now, face me here, hands on your waist. Take your right leg out to the side, find the balance and lift up that supporting leg. We lift the leg up, and down, and two, and down, and three, and four, and five, it's 10 here, six, seven, eight. Really find that balance in that leg. Last one, 10. Now we're going to bend the knee. Then we're gonna fold the body forward, like so. And then we're gonna lift the leg up again. We lift, and two, and three, and four. 
and five and six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one we hold for five, four, three, two, one, lower, come up and bring it in, other side. So take the left leg out, lift to that supporting leg and we lift the leg and two and three and four and five and six, hang on there, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Okay, bend the knee, fold the body forward from the hip joint here, and I will lift, and two, and three. Hold that center tight and in. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one we hold, 10, hold, four, five, four, three, two, one, take it down, upright, straighten. Well done, shake it out, okay. External rotate at the hip joint and bring your feet wider than the pelvis for your wide position. Arms are out to the side and we go down. Make sure your body, your spine goes vertically down and does not lean forward and we extend. We go down and we extend and down and extend, two more. And down, then we'll do some pulses and extend. Last one. All right, now we go down again, little pulses. We go up and inhale, inhale, exhale and and two more sets. Last set and straighten and we go down again and take your left sorry, your right heel up, and little pulses, again, up, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, and, two more sets, last set, stay down, lower the heel, other leg, let's do that again, and up, and, and, up, up, two more sets, and up, up, last set, and up, up, lower the heel, straighten the leg up, and walk your leg in, shake your leg. All right, it's time to go down to the mat, so let's bring the mat in. All right, now that we have our mat on, so let's go ahead and lie on our back. So we'll find ourselves, in a pelvic curl position. So we have our feet, hip width distance apart, the arms are long, chest is open, take an in breath. Let's give me five pelvic curl. And use the abdominal to really imprint the lower back down. Then press the feet, use the hamstring, and articulate the spine up while your abdominal is still deeply engaged towards the spine. The arms are nice and long. And then inhale at the top, Exhale, we go down from the top of the spine and down all the way to the tailbone. We in breath. Exhale again, using the abdominal, really curve that belly in and then press the fist, switch the hamstrings on, but keep the abdominal in. So use the hamstring to help you up and finish up with the glutes and press the arms to lift up a little higher. Exhale, we roll down from the top, the middle lower spine and back to the floor again exhale we roll up 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 in breath exhale we roll down vertebra by vertebra and release back to start position two more times exhale we roll up 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 in breath exhale we take it down, 
and all the way back. And the next one, we're gonna stay up here, okay? We roll up again, really peeling up bone at a time, one bone at a time. Now find your highest point here, dorsiflex the foot, meaning the toes comes out, the heels are down. And a lower, lift the heels up, go into your tippy toe, and a lower. And the pelvis should stay the same height at all the time as your dorsiflex, and lift the heels up and lower again toes up and down heels up and down toes up and down heels up and down dorsiflex and down to the ball of the feet heels up and two more dorsiflex and heels up last one Heels up. Now we stay up here. I want it to fall from the hip joint. Just lower the bottom, halfway down to the floor. Curl the pelvis and press up. And lower. Curl the pelvis and press up. And lower. Curl the pelvis, press up. Again. And curl up. And five. And curl up. Keep those arms pressing down to the floor. And up, and four, and up, three, and up. I know it's feeling the burn, hey? And up, one more, almost there. Hold it up, heels go down, then you articulate the spine. All right, and release, good work. All right, have your feet as wide as the mat, open your arms up to the T position for the hip roll. Drop the knee to me, turn your head to the opposite direction, back to center, and drop to the other side and turn your head. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. And up, in breath. And back, and, and back, and drop. One more each side. Up, last one. Okay, walk your feet back. Arms down by the side, let's do some leg lift here. Let's start with the leg away from me. So single leg lift, lift it up, contract the abdominal, maintain the placement of the pelvis and the lower spine. We lower the leg down from the hip joint. Exhale, inhale, we lower. Exhale, so we wanna maintain the contraction of the deep abdominal muscle here. So as you lift and lower the leg, you do not change the position of the pelvis. And lower, one more, and let's stay here. Extend the leg up. Flex the foot, lower down. We point, bring it in, single leg bicycle. Extend and down. In breath. Exhale. Maintain the contraction of the abdominal and in breath, extend. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Reverse, we go down, slide, bring it up. We point, down, bring it up. In breath, up. In breath, down. Exhale, in breath, down. Exhale, last one. Exhale, up, point, bend the knee, take the foot down. Other side, we'll lift, single leg lift and lower, exhale, again, maintain the placement of the pelvis and the lumbar spine. Movement is from the hip joint and the knee joint is constant at all time. Two more here, and up, one more, and up, stay, single leg bicycle, up, flex, lower, in breath, and, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, one more, exhale, and now reverse, we go down, we slide, up, bend, down, slide, fall, down, slide, 
fall down slide two more slide last one and slide up hold that leg up extend the other one down leg circle across the body we go down exhale inhale exhale last set exhale and stay reverse out down and across exhale inhale exhale stay parallel here in breath exhale last set exhale stay point bend the knee take the foot down bring the other one in extend the first leg out and take the other one up dorsiflex the foot let's go leg circle across and down exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale last set and stay reverse and in and exhale and in keep the pelvis stable and keep the leg in parallel and in and exhale and in breath last set and in breath and exhale we stay we point bend the knee take the foot down bring the other one in turn your body face me for some sideline glute series so we have the bottom leg bent bottom arms long underneath you have the leg long you can have the hand on the hip joint lift the underneath waistline here relax the foot and the ankle and we'll lift for 10 up two three four give the pelvis stable five six seven eight nine we hold we take the leg forward inhale down and back two three four five six seven folding from the hip joint here maintain the center so we don't sway all over back up and down two more down last one down back now we've got the lower end lift here we got five exhale five inhale that's one set we'll do five set we go exhale down two three four five inhale two three four five that's one set one two that's two four last set and in two three four hold that bring it back and down good job bend the knee yes i'm feeling the burn i i'm feeling that too so hand on your bottom all right straighten the bottom leg take the top leg over and external rotation press the hands there we got your underneath leg the adductors left left and down and two and three and four and five and six seven eight two more nine and ten well done release that and let's turn over to the other side so we'll do the same thing again you can continue hammering the bottom i definitely felt that good work from us right, we bend the bottom knee we take the top leg long we can place your hands on the hip joint here and we really want to lift the underneath obliques here so we lift so there should be a gap a light shining through the bottom waist it's a three and four and five six seven eight nine and ten we go forward forward up down back fall from the hip we'll lift down back and a three up 
down, back and four, up, down, back and five, up, down, back and six, up, down, back seven, down and eight, down and nine, down, last one, ten. And we got the drop on the leg, five, exhale, five, inhale, bring the leg forward, we go. And in, two, three, four, five. Number two, two, three, four, five. And in, two, three, four, five. And a three, two, three, four, five. And in, two, three, four, five. And a four, two, three, four. Four, five, and in. Stay there. Hang on there. Four, five. Last five. Four, three, two, one, and in. How? Three, four. We hold. We'll bring it back. Oh, and bring it in. And then we bend the knee. We can give your bottom a little hammer there. And then ready for the adductor lift. So we switch the leg. External rotate the top leg. Press against with the arms. And we open the chest and we lift. And we go down. And lift, and we go down, and three, and down, and four, and down, and five, and six, seven, eight, hold that center, nine, last one, ten, beautiful work. You can release that, you can continue hammering the bottom if you need wish to. Turn onto your front, please. Okay, so we're gonna finish up with some back extension. Bring the hand stacked up, one palm on top of the other, elbows wide, legs are long for the diamond press here. Let's go ahead, glide the shoulder blades down and then lifting the forehead, the neck, the upper back, the middle back into a beautiful extension. Keep the neck aligned with the spine, please and come back down. We inhale, glide the shoulder blades down and reach the legs actively behind you, lifting up. Exhale, we go down. And in breath, we lift again, chest forward and up. Exhale, we come down. Last one, in breath. We lift and we stay up here, reach the right leg long and lift it up and down. And two, maintain the lift of the abdominal as you lift the leg. So make sure the lower spine is long and you don't collapse the lower spine down as you lift the leg higher. And two more lift, one more lift. We bring the leg down, we lower the chest down. And we come back up again into that back extension. Hold that back. We lift the leg and down. Two. Keep the lower spine long. Lift. And. And. And three. Two. One. Up. Up. And come on down, well done. Release the chest down, relax the arms, bend the elbows to the side here, and push the floor away, rounding the back, and bring the pelvis to the rest position, keeping the arms long, keeping the pelvis as low as possible to your heels. We in breath, expanding the ribcage, exhale, allow the spine to go with the gravity. In breath, exhale, one more here, exhale, and let's roll the spine up, good work, wow, we're done, give those legs a little shake here, that was a lot of work on the glutes and on the legs, well done, thank you for moving with me today, I wish you a lovely day, take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my 7 day beginner challenge. 
click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comments and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.